Charlie chooses. Charlie did not like to choose. He never knew what was best. And Charlie always worried that he might choose the wrong thing. He could never choose between chocolate ice cream or vanilla ice cream, which sometimes meant that he had no ice cream at all. He couldn't choose between spotty pants and stripy pants, and so he often did the simplest thing and wore no pants at all. And bedtime was never easy. Light off, light on, light off, light on. I can't choose, said Charlie. It's too hard. So sometimes he got no sleep at all. Poor Charlie. He knew he would never be able to choose a present for his birthday. So he did a very sensible thing and looked in a book. The book was full of ideas. A banana, a racing car, a top hat, a hot dog, a firefighter outfit, an ant farm, a teddy bear, a guitar, a bucket, a wobbly jet, a button, a pair of socks. But I can't choose, said Charlie. It's too hard. And he went to have a seat down. When suddenly, he had an idea. That's it, said Charlie. A dog, a dog is the perfect present. And off he went to the rescue centre. The rescue centre was full of dogs. There were small dogs and tall dogs, fluffy dogs and scruffy dogs, white dogs and black dogs, soppy dogs and floppy dogs, lippy dogs and sleepy dogs, long dogs and strong dogs, old dogs and bold dogs and every other kind of dog. I can't choose, whispered Charlie. It's too hard. He turned to go. But then, something waggy and shaggy, and mostly white, but a little bit brown, scampered and jumped and dug a very, very big hole and ran and ran and ran. right into his arms. Oh, said Charlie, I don't have to choose because this dog has chosen me. Now, Charlie has someone who helps him to choose ice cream and pick the perfect pants. And when it's big time, Charlie knows exactly what to do. Light off and dog on the bed. Now all Charlie has to do is choose a name.